What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another FIFA 19 video. EA have released a brand new flashback. I just want to check for icons as well to see if we've got a new icon as well, I suppose. Um, Michael Owen was the last icon, so no new icons. However, we do have a brand new flashback and that is flashback Leighton Baines, guys. So a Big card for the Premier League. Um, Premier League's massively lacking in, in left-backs in general. I know there is second-in-form um, second Robertson. We've got the, use, the, like, the live item Alonso. Other than that, it's really lacking. Now, looking at the in-game stats of this Leighton Baines, very nice at first glance. Really good composure, reactions, balance are very good. Uh, his defensive stats are good. His physicals are okay. Um, I think his aggression is nice. Um, his stamina is, is only okay, sadly. His pace is generally good. His passing is exceptional. Um, high medium work rates, 5-7, 3 star, 3 star. Now, at 5-7, it's a bit of a problem. What we're going to do is we're going to complete Leighton Baines. And then we're going to go and have a little comparison uh, between him and the other two left backs that are available in the Premier League. So, relatively cheap. No informs needed. In fact, very cheap. I wonder if Fupbin have already got a... A uh, little little thing about him and, and how much he's going to cost. So Carver Howe, of course, we could have as well down at 180. Now, for these, you get a mega pack and a prime gold players pack. So the packs in return are very good. Uh, the teams, are, no informs needed. 185 rated squad and 184 rated squad. Now, the 85 rated squad of uh, Carver Howe is 140k, but that includes two informs. Uh, the informs probably coming in, at, you know, somewhere around like... 40 40k or so so probably a hundred thousand coins um for Leighton Baines and for for this section and probably like 40,000 coins for the other section so I would probably say somewhere around the region of 150,000 coins for this Leighton Baines which I think is okay uh let's see if I've got any untradeable items otherwise I'm gonna have to use some big cards I've got Sterling there happy day so Sterling and Deli Alley can go into the midfield for our two England players uh, then we just we only need 80 chemistry, so we don't even really have to heavily focus on Premier League. What's the other one done? Is that the other one is just a Toffees player, isn't it? Um, so yeah, one Everton player and an eight. Oh no, an 84 rated squad. Yeah, no, may, may, maybe like 140, 150. I think is still reasonable um, for this Leighton Baines. I think that's probably around the likes of how much is going to cost us. Uh, let's have a look at what untradeable Prem players have got available. I know I have a lot of untradeables available because we're doing a lot of good stuff with the untrads. Uh, a couple of 85s there, very nice. A few 84s. We're not really going to be able to get away with too many 84s. But because we don't need all that much chemistry, um, if we put an 85 in there, if we put him in there, and let's go and put... Uh, let's go and put Bernardo Silva down there. That's really good for chem. <laughs> um, if I now go and have a look at... Let, let's have a look at what tradable Premier League players we've got. Because if we've got some, you know, some, some of the, the cheaper 85 tradables or 86 tradables... Uh, then I don't mind using those. Christian Eriksen, I'm not interested in using. Uh, Mesa Ozil, I don't mind using. Him, I don't mind using. So we, we can definitely throw those guys in there as well. Pop him in there and pop Mesa Ozil in there. In fact, with two 86s, three 85s, I would probably be able to get away with 84s for the rest of this. I don't necessarily think I'll be able to get the full chemistry on it. Um, let's have a look at what strikers we've got. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do a full Premier League striker squad. Uh, sorry, a full Premier League squad for the first one. I don't mind. An 84 and an 83. Let's test out these guys and see what we're saying. That puts us up to an 84 rated squad. And an 83 keeps us an 84 rated squad. So do we have any uh, yeah, any, any, any Premier League player 84s that we can improve on uh, Gabriel Jesus with? Mares is okay. Okay, okay, okay. We've got some. Um, so let's try and upgrade Socrates for him. There you go. That is perfect. We just don't have the chemistry here, which we will get like that. So that is the first team. A fair few untradables for me in this one. Uh, as I say, Footbin doesn't quite have the prices of this uh, Leighton Baines available just yet. Um, he's only there for three days as well, or four days in total. Okay, so the prices are up. So at first glance, we're looking at 110,000 for this uh, three lion squad and 50,000 for the Toffee squad. So 160 in total, which with a prime gold players pack and a mega pack back, I think is pretty good. Um, also, I would assume that the prices are going to drop slightly, another 10 or so percent. So you're probably looking at like 140 or so. Um, 
for this squad, which I think, with as I say, with the two packs back and with the fact that we've got um, a good card here, I, th I just think this is all right. Now, we only need an 84 rated squad with... Uh, with, with this one, so let's go to the Calcio A. Let's have a look. First of all, once again, we'll go to my untradables. Wow, look at all those special items I had there. Um, I've got a Cardi untradable. Do I want to waste an 87 for an 84 rated squad? Absolutely not. I definitely want to only waste 84 rated and some 83 rated in an 84 rated squad. Uh, so let's go and have a look at the no filter for these Theria. Look at that. Chiesa and Piatek I have. Sandro, Skriniar, Cancelo, Zapata. These are all pack pulled as well, guys, of course. Very nice luck for me here. Um, 85 Skriniar, I don't mind using. 85 Jekko, I don't mind using. We are an 84 80 squad. We've got some 83s. So now we'll just flood in the rest of the 84s and some 83s, and we'll see what we need for this team. So it's already an 84 rated squad. If I can get rid of the 85, I can. Can I get rid of another 85? I almost definitely can't. No. Uh, what about an 84 in for him? No. What about... Yeah, so what about, yeah, an 85 for an 84 is perfect. Now we just need to filter this around and go and grab ourselves the right chemistry. That puts us up to 67. Uh, let's pop Chesney in goal. It takes us down. Um, let's pop him there and him over there. We're not going to have, we're going to, let's put De Rossi in uh, at CDM. That takes us up to 74. And let's put Lucas Leiva in at CDM. That takes us up to 79. And then, in fact, if we put P uh, Pickford back in goal, there you go, guys. So that is it for Leighton Baines. We'll open these two packs that we get. Uh, then I want to go, as I say, I want to go and have a look at Leighton Baines versus Alonso versus, um, versus Robertson. Uh, apologies for keep turning my head over as well. Arsenal are currently losing 3-1 to Man City. I actually predicted a 3-1 scoreline for Man City. People were like, what do you reckon? I said 3-1. With seven minutes to go, I'm still bang on. Um, I'm hoping that Arsenal can do a madness whilst I'm recording this video, but we've, we're poor defensively. We're just far too poor. Man City uh, have just been dominating the game from start to finish. Um, I, I, I wished we would have put some money into the back line over this um over this period so there you go there is Leighton Baines guys we've got him we've, we've got him out of the uh out of the SBC I'm I love by the way again credit to EA where it's due I love flashbacks I think flashbacks are sensational so here we go guys a mega pack and a prime gold players pack I'll take a look at the the promo packs as well I don't think I'm going to get involved in any lightning rounds specifically uh we're going to get ourselves a nothing out of the mega pack it's a little bit sad on my road to glory I've probably got enough to do Leighton Baines it's just whether or not I want him um, I have Eden Militao as one of my players. Oh, is Vorm still worth crazy coins? Yeah, he's not bad. I'll, I'll sell him on uh, off camera. I don't really care to do it right now because I've only got one trade pass space left that I want to keep for something that's actually going to be quite useful to me. Uh, but yeah, sadly, guys, here, not a lot in that pack for me. We've got the attributes card in there as well. So with Vorm and the attributes card, we'll probably make about 15k, 20k pack back off that pack bringing down the price nicely of this Leighton Baines. And then in the Prime Gold Players pack, no walkout. Do we get a special card? Is that an inform? No, we get a board though. Colombian centre back Davison Sanchez. I think he's under 10k now, but I don't think he's as cheap as all of the other 84s, which is fantastic. And 84 Rufier in there as well. Uh, yeah, he is under 10k, but he's still he's about 7k. It's, it's better. Uh, well, maybe it's not actually better than the other 84. Now, maybe he is also a base 84 uh, that's not really worth doing anything with let's get super sitch down here let's pop Ruffier up there let's send those guys away um not too bad guys so we probably made about all together if i sell at the right times and, and i'm smart with how I, I sell things we'll probably make about 40 to fifty thousand coins back off of those packs around uh, you know the the training card is like 4k Davis sanchez is like 7k um we got uh the goalkeeper for like 2k that straight away is is, is already like 13 14k with all the other items that we had in that pack maybe not 50k maybe maybe 35 to 40k uh but it's still nice to bring uh bring him down now let us have a look at these players in this club what i want to do is i want to put rio ferdinand there i want to put michael balak in there and i want to somehow get if if i play sergio ramos does that help for chemistry how do we lose chemistry there because of lala uh, what about Varane in there? No. I, I basically just want to get the 10 chem. Um, 
on the team. So let's put uh, let's put Makaleli in there. There we go. Basically, basically, just want every player, every, all of all of these three left backs. I want them to be able to get ten chem with the chem style, so we can have a good look at what they're uh, what what they're going to have with the correct chem style and and such. So let's go into the left backs from the Premier League. Of course, there are three: Alonso, um, Robertson, and then also. Um, as I say, uh, what's his name? No, yeah, Alonso, Baines, and Robertson. So, first and foremost, Baines has far more pace than Alonso. Same shooting, more passing. One less dribbling, one less defending, and two less physical. However, in terms of the actual in-games, um, so what chem style would I place on Baines? I would probably put an anchor on him. Pace isn't, like, overly important. I think an anchor's, for me, the best chem style uh, that we've got available for fullbacks of, of this ilk. Now, the issue with, obviously, Baines is he is a little slow. Um, no, not a little slow. A little short. So, Leighton Baines there. If we throw him in... No, nope, not there. If we throw Leighton Baines in there, Leighton Baines goes to 93 acceleration and 96 sprint speed, 93 slide, 94 stand, 91 marking, 90 interceptions and 88 heading. Generally great. Also, 93 jumping, 99 aggression, and 88 strength. It's very good. Um, with Marcus Alonso... No. Wow. The, the lag on these, uh, these games. With Marcus Alonso, he goes up to 91 sprint speed and 88 acceleration, which is still relatively fast, to be fair. He's got way more stamina, but way less strength, way less aggression, and way less jumping. And I think his defensive stats, they're, they're probably better... Not really. The, the, the shadows are such a weird chem style... What he does have is he has great reactions, ball control, dribbling and composure, as does Leighton Baines. Dribbling a little lower, Baines has far better agility and balance, which is going to make him a much, much better player. Uh, the passing stats are very, very similar. In fact, we can compare the dribbling, the passing and such because it doesn't really make much of a difference. So in terms of dribbling, Leighton Baines, five, four less reactions, three, four less ball control, five less dribbling... Um, but seven more composure, so his passing will be much better and, and his general defensive play will be much better. Um, his passing in general is, is a little bit better. His vision's much better. His crossing's better. His free kick accuracy is largely irrelevant. His short passing is one better, a little bit irrelevant. Long passing is a bit better. Curve is, is one less. Uh, shooting doesn't really matter too much for these kind of guys. His pace is much better. Um, and yeah, defensively to start with, they're very similar cards. I think... Because of the physicals of Leighton Baines, it's, it's a weird one. He, he's much better in like aggression and jumping and such. Obviously, he's shorter, so that's probably why. He's got way less stamina than Marcus Alonso. I, it, it, do you know what? It's, it's hard. It, it, I would say, if you have already Alonso, Leighton Baines probably isn't worth it. Um, because Alonso is very similar in very many regards. Comparing Baines to Robertson, Baines destroys him everywhere with exception of pace. Two more pace points on Robertson, but Baines has five more physical, two more defending, one more dribbling, ten more passing, and 17 more shooting. Andy Robertson, though, once again has 90 stamina. And for me, for fullbacks, although actually in today's meta with people just staying back whilst they're attacking, um, stamina's not that much big of a deal. Do you know what? How, how much is Robertson selling for these days? Is he still like 250k? Yeah, 230 for him. So if you have Robertson tradable, sell him, get Baines. If you have Alonso, that's a difficult one for me. Um, obviously, Alonso is a live item and will likely get upgraded once or twice more at least, and, and starting soon as well with the Champions League and, and Europa League coming back, this live item's likely to start getting upgrades again. I, I, what do you guys think? I, I, what I'll say about this Baines card is, first and foremost, I think it's a very good card. I think if you don't have a quality Premier League left back, for 150k outlay with two great packs back, an 87 rated quality flashback back, it's a very, very good card. It really is. I think it's very well rounded. I think a little bit of an issue, the fact that he's so short at 5'7". You know, Robertson is nice and tall at 5'10". Alonso nice and tall at 6'2". So having him so short is a bit of an issue. But I think it, if you didn't do Alonso, you obviously can't get him back again. Robertson is extremely expensive. I think Baines is a fantastic alternative to these two left-backs here. 
I would probably still say Robertson is the best left back out of this just because of his stamina um, and and how well he feels in game. I've played a lot of games with him, hundreds of games, and, and he feels really, really good. So that's my opinion on this one, guys. I, I think this Leighton Baines is very good. So there are 10 rare mega packs, 12 prime gold player packs, and 15 premium gold player packs available. We'll open one rare mega pack with coins. If we get something good, I'll open another one. If we don't, we're done. We don't. It's no walkout. Is it going to be a special card? No, it's a board at the very least. Is it going to be a good board? Portuguese goalkeeper is going to be Lopez. So no, it's not. So that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.